hey guys it's me chata king once again and welcome back to another video on the channel so i'm actually not doing a live stream again because i find uh, videos better now i actually prefer to do streams but they have been getting complications and since uh, today we got the new car as you can see on your screen right now the scramjet so yeah let's uh, get one thing out of the way that i wanted to let you guys know that this is a declasse vehicle like the manufacturer company is declasse so here on the first three words it says the declasse scramjet so that's that and yeah uh, it's actually a car from a cartoon i think so it's called um, a speedrunner i think so i'm not really sure of that cartoon but let's see what what we have here so yeah as i was saying f uh, to me this uh, will be a competitor against the vigilante it's a batmobile and i believe uh, this is also a batmobile to me because it also uh, will have the rocket thruster and i believe you can have uh, machine guns and homing missiles on this thing so first of all let's talk about the price so if i would um, buy this vehicle right now i would pay 4.6 to 8 million dollars so it's about 4.6 million dollars but if i go to the trade price option it says um, 3 million point eight four zero thousand dollars so that means it's about about uh 1 million 100 thousand dollars save so to unlock this i need to win the hunting pack remix adversary mode so i will then unlock the trade price and we will be purchasing this vehicle so yeah before we do that let's actually quickly read the description of this vehicle it says here the declasse scramjet is final proof that the greatest inventions are accidents no one thought we had any need of need to jolt a hyper stylized retro speedster 30 feet into the air and turbo boost it into the side of the nearest high rise but once it happened and we saw the kind of potential it unleashed there was no going back this ones for the dreamers so yeah guys that was the um, that was the description for the declasse crime jet and yeah i will see you guys um, in the new adversary mode called the hunting pack remix so uh, yeah guys i'll see you there and just stick around i i believe it's gonna be really fun so yeah i'll just go on call right now and i'll see you guys when i find a match so yeah see you there so i think this will be really similar to the normal hunting pack we had before but it just will have new cars from this dlc and that's gonna be really interesting and seems like we are two defenders and four attackers so i'm not sure how that's gonna work out uh, how me and my friends like to play this is we had the same amount of runners and uh, defenders so in this match i have become the the, the runner so i think i will have more confidence in being a runner than a defender because i will be in charge of this thing so yeah this is gonna be interesting and as you guys can see this thing doesn't have the proper road oh we actually have two targets or i'm not sure because i see their truck as well so pick up speed before the bomb arms so I'm not sure where do I need to go with this thing. Oh, there's actually a track. 
So that's interesting. Like I was just uh, thinking that uh, hunting pack we had the last uh, hunting pack adversary mode were on the streets, like on the road. So there's a attacker reaching and he is actually giving me some speed boost and he just took himself out over there so this is gonna be interesting and I I find this actually being easier but we have to be careful of the ditches over here there is even a bulldozer there I don't know how would that work out but let's just actually grind this guy on the wall his partner totally helped him out so there's actually the, the revolter versus the massacre so i think the massacre people are gonna have more trouble against the revolter and just look at that guy he just completely took himself out but i need to be careful over here i'm actually gonna go right first so they think i'm going off but here they will have no chance that guy almost took me out though so that was an awesome jump and my defenders are actually doing a pretty good job defending me as you just saw that guy get taken out and we are almost at our location and oh my god that was that was something heavy okay that this guy is right under me now I think yeah we, we'll, we're done for now Oh speed yes that was so close but this guy is going under me man gotta be careful that guy is reaching me and oh my god move 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 get out the way good this guy has found the weak spot of this truck and so has this guy we are almost at our location okay this is not good this is not good Come on guys, help me out over here. Don't come in my way. Uh, it's just lagging. These guys have gotten my weak point now. It's right under the wheels of this thing. I guess my best chance is to go against the wall. Uh, maybe not. Oh yes. Push this guy or something. He's right under me. Go, 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 go we are almost there turn right turn right and we are almost there oh my god i think i'll be taking a right turn now oh no we we are done i think so oh almost yes got the speed again and we have a win so i think now i have probably unlocked the scramjet's uh, trade price so i guess i'm gonna play this whole match and yeah i'll see you when the next round starts and we have one one and actually i don't need to trim right now because it's just starting and great job to my defenders they had my back and i'm really really happy with their performance and also the 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 against team they did a very fine job of finding the weak spot of the truck and i know the weak spot now as well and this is actually the the feria this is the ocelot feria so this is supposedly the fastest car in the game so i have no idea how those guys couldn't keep up but this vehicle is fairly light and also one one more thing to remember from the hunting pack games that you have slipstream like if you drive behind your teammates you will get a speed boost of some kind and i am not sure what's the strategy of this guy but seems like so yeah we i am definitely helping and whoa his teammate is actually slowing him, him down Oh yeah, he's he's pr pretty much cornered now. Go back, go back, stop him. He's cornered, he's cornered. I think uh, the survival chance is pretty thin, but he's definitely trying. 
The revolver is actually a huge car and just look at that. I just completely made the truck spin. But he's still going somehow. This truck actually has a lot of power. I actually helped him. So we are actually having some kind of some kind of war going on already and I am actually taking this truck off of the platform wow are we will we actually manage to pull this off oh I th oh yes we did and there is another round win and I am off <laughs> so that's uh, not that bad actually that's easy win we had a fair enough fight going on so looks like um, I got the same team uh, as the as my defenders. So I think now it will mix up a little bit maybe. But uh, we don't usually stick with the same team. Sometimes the team member changed in the previous hunting pack mode. But I actually am pretty happy with this. And it's actually one of my favorite adversary modes. And I we just love to play this. I have a lot of memories of playing this game mode with my friends so looks like now we are the defender and this is the most difficult part to play because those guys will just come I'm actually gonna wait for for the attackers so I have a better chance of stopping them while they try to come to us So I am actually missing everyone now, but we will catch up suddenly. Back. Move, move, move out of the way. Oh no. I actually made a bad move over there. Uh oh, I am actually making thing things worse, but... Go, 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 move. Don't stop, don't stop. Yes. Keep moving. The driver is actually doing a pretty awesome job. Keep moving, keep moving. I got you covered. Are you stuck? No, you aren't stuck. Yes, I took one guy out. Move it, move it, move it. This guy is out of the way. No, 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 no. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Yes, we'll make it. We'll make this too but go 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 drive I'm just giving this <laughs> guy a speed boost I think we are pretty much done oh no 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 keep moving keep moving oh yes nice driving Turn, 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 turn. I got you. I got you. Go, 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 go. This is the perfect chance to make this ramp. Go, go, go. I got you. I got you. It would be funny if a guy landed. Go, 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 go. Move it, move it, move it. I got you covered. What is this this uh, this uh, other person doing? I wanna make things worse. Took him out. Took him out as well. All perfect breaking zone. We'll make it. We'll make it. Go go go! No, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Oh yes, we made it. I actually made a sacrifice and. Uh, the opposite team member also died as well 
and we have a match win so I'm not sure if we are supposed to win the whole match or just win a round I think it will be about a match so yeah we are done with this adversary mode and I guess I'll make more videos of the of the other ones we have and look at him dance that's a really cool taunt he's going on there so yeah I am I'm really enjoying the new adversary mode so uh, I can't actually believe that it's it has been a uh, week already so now we even have the black madonna's music on the LSUR radio station and this week we had I mean this week we have three new things in GT online one is the new vehicle the declasse scramjet which we are gonna be purchasing right now number two is the adversary mode which came out with the scramjet obviously to unlock the trade price for the scramjet and number three is I think we have black the black madonna's music on the LSQR radio station as well so yeah guys we are quickly gonna head to the Warstock cash and carry uh, website and now I have unlocked the trade price so now I'm gonna be paying about 3.5 million dollars to get the scramjet and I'm actually um, <laughs> curious that where will we customize this thing I think when I will enter the scramjet it will tell me that I can either uh, customize this vehicle in my MOC or the Avenger so we have already gone through the description so let's actually buy it right now and I'm gonna order this for my nightclub B2 parking so now I have purchased the scramjet and I actually made about $35,000 just to play one one round one match and winning all three rounds so I have made almost about forty thousand dollars and my bank account is just above ten million dollars like it's gonna be about ten million one hundred thousand plus so yeah I will see you guys in the nightclub um, storage garage storage so yeah guys I'll see you guys there so yeah guys we are in the club right now and let's actually head our way to the office so now just to remind you guys the now the black madonna's music is also available on the lsur radio station so yeah guys let's actually go to my b2 floor where the garage storage is and uh, i just got notified a bit ago that my the class scramjet is now available at my garage so yeah without the way let's get to the storage area and i actually have also collected my vigilante from my facility so yeah guys this is how these vehicles look side by side as you can see the vigilante is much much bigger in length than the scramjet so we you have the advantage of the size of this thing but the disadvantage is that this uh, the scramjet seems to be the case but i think this uh, car looks pretty awesome as well and just look how small it is comparing to the vigilante but um, it's even a bit smoother looking so we actually have the exhausts at the edges of the brake lights so that's really something cool so I guess yeah we should now jump into the scramjet and see how it feels to drive and let's also check out how it sounds like when we start this thing yes it does wow this thing looks so awesome it does sounds like a sports classic vehicle so this is gonna be really interesting and I can't wait to customize this thing and look how cool our uh, character looks in this vehicle 
um, his head is like barely visible from the back so yeah um, the only disadvantage of this thing is that it's really gonna be easy to kill the person driving these things but I guess once you get the chance to so oh yes this thing even has the jump button so I am really sure that this car is gonna gonna be involved in some sort of special vehicle races which will come soon so let's actually see how fast thing this thing can go so actually I have no uh, weapons installed in this thing well I do have missiles already and I think I will have missiles and machine guns so it's uh, kind of gonna be a bit difficult it's gonna be a bit difficult is uh, while swapping weapons so yeah guys without any wait let's see how this thing flies so let's actually wait for the bridge that's gonna come right here and then we should be good to go wait what sort of jump was that oh nice this is this is really cool with this thing so you can not actually jump in the vigilante but with this thing you can actually jump and I'm st straight gonna hit in the electric city pole so this vehicle is really cool I really like the concept of it and you can just jump and fly around wherever you like and what so it boosts for a longer period but it also fills up afterwards a little bit it would be interesting to jump while the boost is active so you can actually take off for a little bit and you can actually fly this thing so this thing is pretty cool and I mostly like to customize my vehicles in the LS custom shop which is like right next to downtown so I mostly customize my vehicles there but since we have we are already close to sandy shores and this thing is like bunch of fun actually so um, I thought I'm I'm gonna be wasting my money since I already have the vigilante and I was thinking this vehicle must have some feature which makes it a little bit different than the vigilante so this thing also looks beautiful from the backside and the shape of this is very very amazing and I actually love the front fenders and we also have some cool lights over here so we don't have any other parking lights or I would say high beams so this vehicle can be uh, modified in the mobile operating center or the, the, the Avenger yes so as I was saying they don't uh, give us a note on the Warstock site that this vehicle cannot be customized in the LS custom shop so I kind of had the idea but I wasn't sure and I'm not sure how we are gonna land <laughs> so my oh we actually landed right where my Avenger spawned so that's actually something pretty amazing so I'm actually gonna quit the secure serve and now it's evening time and now I can turn on my look pretty amazing as well so I'm actually I think I'm actually gonna leave this car to be white in color and let's see if we can apply some sort of roof to this thing which I think is a slim chance so while I was flying and jumping this thing around I was actually wondering if I'm gonna blow up if I land myself in a bad position so I'm actually gonna check how much money I have I have amazing this thing and see how much we spend on this thing so fifty thousand dollars right there you'll obviously need brakes for this vehicle because it's gonna be super fast and then we have engine upgrades we have lights we can uh, 
put the uh, xenon lights which I'm not gonna go for and we're gonna skip on the livery for now we have two respray options well it's actually just one just the primary and this was the crew album so and that's not actually a paint option and so we have transmission options so that's awesome this can be fast and the modification on this thing is actually pretty expensive 50,000 for transmission and turbo both and I also have the change um, but mm, what's something bad about this that you don't have really good in in here so I am gonna maybe get my rims later on so I may let's actually jump into the ri uh, livery options so we have racing stripes then we have neon racer then we have speeder blue pin strips the liveries on this thing is are pretty cool we have red pin strips go faster flames that's really awesome actually then we have classic flames i think i'm gonna be going for this and then we have important rage and then we have Republican Space Stranger that this livery actually covers the whole car then we have Princess Robot Bubblegum this livery is also nice but it's not appropriate so I'm not gonna be getting that so I think I should go for the classic flames livery for now and maybe I'll get something later maybe I'll uh, select the go faster flames uh, later if I want to change the car a little bit S but for now I'm actually gonna purchase the go faster flames I think this is also the paint job used in the speed uh, runner cartoon or whatever the case is so I'm actually gonna go in the respray option I think this thing actually the dark steel doesn't look bad at all but let's aim for something maybe silver and bright is the word I'm looking for I think brushed silver is a good option let's actually get brushed silver and then I might apply some some white pearlescent so it gives us a bright look maybe something like orange or red no I don't think that would look good some yellow might do the job but I am not sure actually maybe should I I should get gold you know since I want a brighter look for this car I'm actually gonna get some frost white or ice white I think ice white is kind of too bright so we are gonna go for the frost white so I am not sure what sort of um, rims should I get for this vehicle so just hold on while I try to figure out how can I get better look of the rims I am applying to this thing maybe I'll just do the rims later so I'll just leave the rings rim stock and let's actually see if it comes with the bulletproof tires it does indeed and uh, yep I am I think I'm done with customizing my scramjet so I was thinking of getting a neon neon kit for the front or should I not I'll decide later so let's just actually exit the exit the Avenger with my vehicle so this is my final design for my Declassy scramjet and this vehicle is pretty awesome so let's actually go to somewhere bright with some lights maybe so we can have a better look at the scramjet so yeah I think we should uh, head back to the nightclub uh, garage storage so let's actually make our way to the garage and this thing is a beast
so yeah guys sorry I had to do something real quick and I'm now back so let's actually take this thing back to the nightclub garage so this thing can actually fl fly for a short period of time and I'm just struggling to keep this thing straight I wonder if this thing can actually fly for a moment it only depends on how you face this car I think I will be mostly be stuck in this vehicle uh, just like the oppressor mark 2 you did do need to get used to the flight the flight mechanics or the driving mechanics so um, this thing is re really cool it's actually a bunch of fun so yeah guys uh, there is not gonna be a lot in this video it's just dedicated to the declasses crime jet and the hunting pack remix edition so I am actually gonna mm, just take this back to the garage space as I wanted to compare this thing side by side with the vigilante and what's really awesome about this car is that it doesn't have that much of a long wait period before you can use the booster again and the shape of this thing is beautiful and yeah I prefer if you I prefer for you to use the touchpad to change the weapons on this thing like for example if you press square and you have the unarmed option now so if you just swipe left from your touchpad like I'm doing right here you'll get the missiles again so um, I'm actually not gonna be using the weapons because uh, well uh, while I say that I actually I really wanna get this car yeah yep got him so yeah actually let's see if this thing can fly here come on refill in time oh my god <laughs> whoa that that's awesome so yeah vi the vigilante cannot just fly around the whole place while you try to do some epic stunts with this thing so this is the advantage uh, of uh, having a scramjet uh, other than the vigilante so if you even get stuck you can just jump your way out of your troubles so let's actually try to do some epic drifting oh <laughs> that didn't work so yeah th if this was real life I would have died like half an hour ago since I first started to ride this thing <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna let me enter upside down so yeah guys this is a scramjet and I'm really having fun with this vehicle oh my god Did I, <laughs> I almost got this vehicle stuck I, yeah now I really wanna try a wall ride like that which I just did so this vehicle is actually a bunch of fun it's more like a fun vehicle than a then uh oh wow did you guys just see that i can actually go up b buildings with this stuff that was just amazing i actually want to try this with a uh, tall enough building but the question is we shall reach i want a building which is uh, smooth from the actually yeah, let's try the hospital this looks fairly smooth wow you can really take off in this thing and if you do that c correctly you will be able to get the booster again so that's gonna be awesome so let's actually try this again and maybe fill up some booster as well Oh, I really wanted to... Oh, yes, we, we are actually filling up some boost now. But I don't think it's gonna be in time. And right now, I seem to have 
come in a tough area but thank god this boundary isn't that tall or we would totally be stuck so let's actually try to make a sick stunt before we call this a video oh yes it's filling up actually you uh, so yeah I think I guess I'm gonna be doing some stunt montages with this thing as well so let's actually we are at the perfect uh, area because there is also some BMX parkour races uh, besides this building so most people do some parkour over this wall right here so let's make our own version oh wow man I am actually driving on the walls wow this is so awesome <laughs> this is so awesome I'm really happy with this with this feature so and I'm really happy that I'm getting to find this feature on the video I'm doing so oh we are actually gonna land on the he police headquarters awesome this is the first time I'm gonna be landing a car on this thing it's, it's not the first time actually I have uh, tried this in uh, I think uh, some setup of the original heists we have so this is not something I'm doing the first time th here uh, actually a uh, helicopter spawns in some of the missions so yeah sorry about the delay guys I'm just having a bunch of fun with this vehicle and I'm sure that you guys are enjoying this video as well so yeah definitely uh, if uh, I'm gonna have some some discussions about which vehicle is gonna be better the scramjet or the vigilante so I think the vigilante is more of a serious kind of vehicle and I think this even has some some more um, explosive resistance than the vigilante so I'm actually gonna take this inside first we're gonna uh, park it right next to the vigilante and compare them both in the looks and style of the car and then I'm gonna exit with this vehicle and then we are gonna try to blow this up so normally it should take me one RPG to blow up the vigilante and let's see how it compares to the vigilant pair them right here and then we are gonna head outside and check check the armor capability of this crime jet so yeah guys do uh, leave a comment and which do you prefer the batmobile or the speed runners crime jet i'm actually i actually have no idea what sort of cartoon is that or what show is that that people used to watch but all i know that these both are batmobiles for me this is a classic one and maybe that's more like the modern batmobile we have so yeah guys do comment in the comment section which do you prefer out of the both in shape or the features so the basic difference between the scramjet is that this vehicle has the capability of jump to jump like the like the Reno 2000 so yeah guys sorry about this but I am actually gonna take a quick stop at the gun shop I think I'm running out of uh, RPGs so let's actually just go inside and get some explosive ammo so we can test out the armor capability of this thing this thing so yeah guys I'm gonna meet you in a nearby parking lot so we can test this out so yeah guys now we are in this nearby parking lot it's actually funny that this is actually the more 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 mutual mutuals headquarters here like if we call the insurance our cars just uh, respawn on this strip right here so look at the look at the blimp on the map of the scramjet it looks awesome so yeah guys this is the moment of truth so the major difference between the vigilante and the scramjet which we just spoke about is that this vehicle has a, a, a ability to jump just like the Reuner 2000 and the other difference is that this car is topless 
and you can be really shut down really easily in this vehicle this vehicle also has um, also has the machine guns and the missiles but I did not check one thing let's actually check that out real quick that can I use my explosives when I'm inside of this vehicle and yes I can so yeah we are getting a lot of uh, more features and I think in the vigilante you cannot access your weapons maybe the uh, the core driver can so I'm gonna be checking that out as well so yeah let's actually see if this is any more armored than the vigilante so here's the moment of truth and let's just shoot this thing yep so this is also the same explosive resistant than the vigilante so yeah you are not gonna be having any advantages when it comes to MMI we expect the unexpected so, uh, yeah, I my can do that scrimjet has spawned right here so yeah guys I hope you have enjoyed this vehicle and I mean uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video and the vehicle obviously and we just have some cops coming up and I think I will see with this vehicle and I have no regret of spending about 3.5 million to 4.4 million dollars uh, for this vehicle getting said and done with the modifications so yeah guys I hope you have enjoyed this video do drop a like rating and also subscribe to my channel because there is new GTA content coming out every day or so so yeah guys I will see you guys in the next video and make sure you check out my social media I have in the description and also check out GTA Pro's channel my best friend he actually helps me with lots of stuff I do on my channel so yeah do check that guy out and yeah I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a good night take care bye bye and thanks for watching this thing is amazing I think I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in my scramjet so yeah guys without any more time I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye just landed an awesome job so yeah guys one last thing before I call it a video that I just wanted to check if I could access any of my weapons in the vigilante and seems like I cannot because there's the only option to select the machine gun or the homing launchers or like homing missiles and the homing off missiles so yeah guys that's also proven I did not want to mislead you guys so I wanted to check that out as well so yeah guys I will see you in the next one take care and I hope I didn't keep you for too long and bye bye